Welcome Aries Taurus to your March Astro Dice reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone in my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you and your Astro Dice. So we're a little bit. Okay. What's going on with Aries Taurus for March? March. Ooh, we have Capricorn energy coming up. The planet is Jupiter in the ninth house. Nice. You can see those. Okay. So, getting straight into what is it? It is Jupiter. Your confidence, courage, self belief, and luck. Nice. And doing it Capricorn style, hard working, serious, materialistic, hard working, shrewd, and calm, uh, caution, excuse me, cautious ambitions. Excuse me about that. Okay, going straight into the ninth house of broadening your horizons, either spiritually, academically, or on a long journey. So it could be just you spiritually on a journey over here. Um, remember that this could be your morals, higher education, uh, long distance travel. Maybe you're on a journey. Maybe you feel like you're on a journey. If you're like even on a journey to get to your goals, <laughs> that could be even be a journey, right? Okay, so let's see what's going on with you. Beautiful cards, though. Showing that hard working and taking everything really seriously, but with a lot of courage. Um, and then I love the self belief because it's really going into the ninth house of how you're going to really take on your spirituality um, with that self belief. Like, I believe in myself, I believe in my journey. Very dedicated over here. Okay, going straight into the situation, my friends. My Situation is the beginning of the month, the end of the month, and the end of the month. Okay. Aries Taurus. Clarify on the Jupiter, the Capricorn, and the ninth house, please. Got the devil coming out in the beginning of the month, having a little bit of temptations over here. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune is kind of is upside down at this time, so you might not be feeling like the luck that you're that you're looking for is really coming in over here with the Devil and having that Capricorn and then having the Capricorn you could be dealing with a Capricorn and the King of Cups upside down as well. Um, it almost feels like in the beginning of the month, um, trying to keep your courage and your self belief alive. It does feel like there is something tempting you, um, and it does feel like. You feel like your luck is bad luck. Feeling like somebody might not be taking this as serious as you. It could be a king of cups. Um, but it is hard. And it feels like this is hard to perceive on how it's moving. That's really what it feels like. Or someone is holding you back from the ninth house. Is the king of cups holding you back from your spiritual journey? from your academic journey, whatever the ninth house is for you, my friends, because that's what, really what it feels like. It feels like their, tempta their temptations, their toxicity. Um, makes you feel like you need that wheel of fortune to change in your favor. It feels like you have bad luck at this time. Bad cycles. Um, feels like you need a change. Wanting a change. Maybe wanting the King of Cups to change. Clarifying on the devil. Yeah, there needs to be some kind of balance within this temptation. Um, feeling like something needs to be justified here. Um, are you feeling tempted? you know, by this King of Cups. Now we have Capricorn, Libra, 
be Sagittarius with the Wheel of Fortune, any sign actually with the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Cups, which is literally Pisces. Um, could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, though. Needing to take a risk. And it feels like you do. I think you do know. I think you know in the beginning of the month, friends, that the only way and the only chance to change this is to actually take the leap of faith. To balance yourself and get justified within yourself is to take this leap of faith. Yeah, because the King of Cups, whoever this person is or this entity is, um, is not... Whatever the situation is, right, for the ninth house is not serving you a purpose. They're actually bringing you down more um, than you need to be. It's holding you back from your ninth house. So I just feel like there is some weight going on over here, my friends. Some weight feeling the burdens and it's almost like you want the burdens to go away you need them to you know fade away but the only way that you know that you can do this is by taking this leap of faith to get away from this person um, this person is not healthy for your nine your ninth house person seems very uncalculating you never know when they're going to kind of like a snake you a cobra right you never know when they're going to strike whoa in the mid-month you have the seven of coins upside down the higher fit backsliding relationship and it's like faith backsliding faith that's you know could be two in one i'm not feeling this spiritual yeah fighting the spirituality Fighting in the relationship, knowing that the relationship is backsliding. Maybe you're even losing a little bit of faith in the ninth house um, because of the fighting. Maybe you've been on this long journey and this is the test. Look, when we're on a spiritual journey, the good Lord is going to test us. The Hierophant is a major arcana. You have many major arcanas. It almost feels like, wow, it does feel like a test now that I see the Hierophant and the devil. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is karma. And then you have the Justice, which is a type of karma. This feels very karmic and very, um, very much so like a universal test. Test of wills, my friends. Test of will. Test of willpower. Will you give this person up to balance out your life and balance out your journey? Balance out your self-growth. Changing your will of fortune and changing your path. Will you allow the fighting and the inner battles with yourself to continue to test you? With the seven of coins, it's like you know that there could be so much more. And I believe that because you got the seven, uh, the seven of coins with the Jupiter. So it's, yes, you know, but you're feeling like, um... This relationship's untrustworthy because of the fighting. There's a lot of failure. You know there's failure. Stubborn, but you, it's almost like you're being stubborn. That Taurus piece is coming out of you. That that stubbornness and, unfle and inflexibility to move on to do what you're supposed to do. So it's almost like your Taurus side is saying, no, I'm going to stay here and fight with the five of staffs. You really going to fight? You think it's going to win? You think in this case you're really going to win? Um, is your Taurus side saying so, right? Standing the ground, fighting the internal battles. Six of Cups, Nine of Cups. It's not going to bring you to your achievement. There's no achievement in this. There's no achievement in this. So this is, this is like a spiritual test that is coming up for you, my friends. And it's like there's no, you are, there's no quick fix. You and the King of Cups, I, I'm telling I'm going to bring it up as that's the person in your ninth house. So you and the King of Cups, whether they're water sign or not, it doesn't matter. This is not a quick fix. This is not the route for you. You're holding on to a karmic cycle, a karmic partner. A karmic 
job, however it is, right? The end of the month imprints, there you go. Your Taurus side is upside down, but you don't have any communication. You're going to let it go, finally. There you go. There you go. Knowing that the King of Swords is coming up, and I do see the King of Swords as a King of Cups, there's going to be this really nasty side to this. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. I have Libra here now twice. Oh, we have Libra three times. Oh my goodness. Okay. But the point is, is that it's just going to get nastier. And why? Because once you find your place of comfort in the end of the month, Aries Taurus, you're going to find yourself as the inference. You're going to find the justice within yourself and the balance within yourself. Start nurturing yourself, giving back the self-belief to yourself. Um, realizing that this is not getting you to where you are satisfied. Um, it doesn't matter how many hopes and dreams you had with this person or how long you've known this person. Um, this person has been holding you back um, or this job, situation, whatever your ninth house is person for the ninth house remember the whole point is is for you to get on the journey to get to where you need to be so if you're trying to get to college and this person does not want you in college they're holding you back they might be telling you you're a parent you don't need to be leaving the kids to go to no college right and you're realizing that this is not you know listening to them or being around them is toxic and there's a lot of karmic um chains over here It's like you've got the angel on one shoulder and the devil on the other. So you're going, it looks like the best solution is to let it go. Um, and it looks like you're going to be cutting some ties with some people or some situations at the end of the month, whether it's this person or maybe people, um, so that you can do the things you need to do because they're holding you back. Um, clarify. Yeah, you're going after the inference and getting back to your self-assuredness for your Ten of Cups. There's happier things for you. And you know that this person is not. No, they're not making you. In fact, they're manipulating a lot of the situation. Could even be a lot of gossip going around you. Especially with the Queen of Staffs upside down as a gossip mad person. And then you have the communication of the King of Swords. It sounds like you're perceiving that this person is not your soulmate. Is, you know, not Mr. or Mrs. Right. Um... And it's almost like as soon as you have this conversation with them, they turn into this um, gossipy person um, who is very upset with you. This feels like they really very controlling and want you to, yeah, there's no victory in this. If you continue to keep doing it, you're not going to make it, you know, to wherever your long journey is. So whatever you feel your spiritual journey is and trying to keep yourself yeah, you're going to have a lot more options once you go into reflective mode. Once you realize that there's no um, victory here. Yeah, it's like they're holding you back from your dreams, you guys. The star card's upside down. They're definitely holding you back from your dreams. You're going to go into reflective mode and realize that you've been wasting a lot of time um, getting to, you know, to where you need to be. Spiritually academically you know if you wanted to travel somewhere and you want to go wherever you want to go they're holding you back because they don't want to go to you know they don't want to go to Paris so they're going to hold you back from going to Paris you're like nope I'm going to Paris then by myself um however it is yeah cutting the ties of the communication because yeah it's just burdensome they're not yeah they're clueless to what I'm sorry the high priest is upside down they're clueless to seeing anything that has to do with you. You guys are not on the same page. Um, and it feels like it's been this way for a long time. And it just feels like they're holding you back from a lot. If you're a very spiritual person and let's say they're an atheist. <laughs> it's going to be hard to get to where you need to be when they're not listening. It just feels like it's, it's a lot it has to do with maybe college and, you know, doing things for yourself is really what it really looks like to me. Spiritually setting yourself on a path to where you want to be. Right? 
Maybe they just don't have the morals that you have. Maybe you're, like I said, you're looking for that higher education and they just, I feel like a lot of you want to go to college and you want to, you know, expand your education and they're just like, not with you on this. They're really holding you back from a dream. Especially the star card upside down. And it's almost like the more you keep talking about going to college to be a nurse or or however, you know, whatever it is you want to do, it's more, you know, they're just always against it. So it does look like this month, it's not going to start out very well because it looks like you're going to kind of bring that up again. Um, and this is really bad. For some of you, you might even bring, be bringing up court papers to get a divorce because you know that they're not good for you anymore. Let's put it that way. And this could also cause a big fight. Um, it is back and forth energy. So for some of you, you might even be in the middle of a separation or in the middle of a divorce as well, or some kind of court case that's going on. Um, and you're really trying to better yourself. And uh, this person is just really up in your face, really bringing you down a lot. Okay, so, but it looks like you still have Capricorn over here. So just keep you know, you have this cautious ambition and that's really what I'm seeing. It's like you're tiptoeing around this person trying to stay as strong as possible over here, trying to get up this mountain. But it's really hard when they're always digging their heels in you. That's why it feels like a test of how far are you going to allow them to keep digging their heels into you until you finally just, you know, that's it. I'm done. I'm going to go do what I want to do. Maybe they're fighting you on legal paperwork and, you know, they won't sign it. And so you're trying to figure out how to get around it. So it's going to be a little bit different for everybody, but, um, yeah, it's going to be a rough road um, for March. It does look like that way. And you're just going to have to keep being strong, keep being confident, keep your courage high, my friends, okay? You can do this. Okay. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.